Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is the next day and I'm gonna to try to get this stuff unloaded between the rain. The sun actually was just shining a minute ago and now it is already clouded back up and they're calling for thunderstorms. So I'm gonna grab the tractor and see if I can't get this stuff unloaded. I may kind of have to get a little creative to get the accumulator unloaded. The back of the accumulator does not clear the side rails on the trailer. So I have to pitch this thing really far forward and get it close to the, the deck on the trailer to get the back up high enough to clear these rails because it's wider than a trailer. So I kind of have to get a little creative with that. We'll see. Um, I might be able to get the razor. It might just sit low enough to where that it'll drop that tongue down there far enough and I can just roll off there with it. If not, I may have to get something rigged up on the tractor. We're gonna have to experiment with it a little bit and just kind of find out. The grapple should be pretty easy. I should be able to just pull up here with the tractor. It's got the skid steer quick connect on it. So I should just be able to pull up there, hook to it, slide it right out and be good to go. So we're gonna grab our tractor, get started on this, see if we can get it off of here. So I should be able to drag this thing back a little bit by hand. I don't wanna run over my gate because my tractor will bend that stuff all up, especially the mesh. The frame might survive with just the front tires on it, but don't wanna take any chances. So we're gonna to try to go ahead and get the accumulator unloaded. So let me take you over here and show you my dilemma here real quick. This thing just barely will fit between the rails. In fact, uh, it's actually turned a little bit sideways right now. And when I straighten it up, it'll be pushing on the rail. And then the back actually sits below the rails. I'm gonna to have to tilt this thing as far forward as I can and get the back end to come up above the rail and then try to roll it towards the end and then hook to it with something because I don't want the thing to just take off rolling when it gets to the ramp. So it's gonna be a little tricky and I don't know how far I'm gonna reach back to the tongue of it to be able to hook to it. I can't back the tractor up the ramp to it. So I'm just gonna to have to try a couple things and see what I can get accomplished here. And did I mention it's still a muddy mess out here too? So like I was saying before, this thing actually rubs those side rails. So it's a little tricky getting it to roll. If I brought the razor over here, it might keep the front end downhill far enough. So I had to take the ball off my hitch on my razor. The hole in this is smaller than what's in the accumulator. It shouldn't matter. It should be enough of a pin to hold the weight long enough to get it off the trailer. I don't 
know if it's going to go low enough. Eh, it might. So we got it hooked up. We're going to try it. I'm going to have her drive the razor off of here real nice and easy and as straight as she possibly can. We don't want to bind anything or bend our rails up. Turn your wheel to the left a little bit. A little bit more. It's going to wrap it up and i can't hardly wait to get this thing set up and get it out in the field i really hope that the rain uh and you know the weather holds off to where that we can have a few nice days i'm on vacation this week so that's kind of the plan like i i, I take vacation thinking i'm going to cut hay last year it rained every single day i was on vacation that was a bummer it's not been looking optimistic they showed rain for the next seven days but then the, the forecast has actually changed now to where that Monday through Thursday, they're saying only a 20% chance of rain. So, I mean, that, you know, it could go up, it could go down. We might get lucky and one of the 20% the of showers that, that might be coming through may not even hit us at all. So there's still a chance, but it's a fairly slim chance. And right now that may be the only window we have while the hay is exactly ready to cut. It's, it's perfect to cut right now. And I don't want it to happen like last year. We didn't get to cut it until the end of June and the hay was just way too ripe. It just was, it was just stemmy and it just wasn't all that great. So hopefully this year we will actually get this accomplished while we're off work this week. Today is actually May 22nd. We're actually looking at cutting it probably on the 24th. So a couple of days from now, uh, hopefully the weather will hold out and we'll be able to get it cut. Anyways, guys, thanks for following along today. So if you like videos like this, make sure to click that thumbs up button. Also, follow along with us. Click that subscribe button. If you want to see what's going on with our new Massey Ferguson 1838 square beller, along with our AF4 Coons manufacturing bell accumulator and the EGF8 bell grapple. So three new pieces of equipment that we have just gotten to hopefully get our hay operation in check. We have the potential to have around 1,500 bells of hay throughout the season. We only need two, three hundred for ourselves for our horses. So the rest of it is something we can sell and that's, that's really what we plan on doing. But we've never been able to produce enough because our hay bellers and stuff has just not been reliable enough to get us to that point. We have sold a very small portion of what we actually should be able to produce. So hopefully this year will be the year that we do that. So follow along, click that subscribe button and thanks for watching.